Hello folks, we're back with more Rivet training and structure and I'm going to continue this uh, foundation we've been working on here. So we've got our walls and our columns, so now we need to add uh, bearing footing and uh, isolated pads for the uh, columns. So here uh, I want to go and put our columns in first, so I'm going to go back to uh, this foundation level right here so we can set our columns and I want to just go let me change this to shaded view okay so there's our column so right now we want to go into the structure tab here under isolated then there's our rectangular footing so these will go here, and I think that's the size we want to work with. Uh, they asked for, yep, that's the size. So I'm going to place one there. Just place them at each column. Okay. There's one there. put these in for you by the way uh, please subscribe to the channel it helps you make videos like this okay oh, we're gonna skip that we don't really have one there apparently uh, we've got one here so now if I wanted to delete this I can just simply go here this column doesn't belong and just take it right click and delete Okay, so now I want to go back to my isolated. And we took that one. Yep. That's in the line. So we get these in. I think it's the second one. Yep. So we have all of our isolated pad footings in and now the next thing we need to do we need to do the uh, go to the structure tab and do the isolated wall uh, this is a wall for a foundation footing okay so this is our bearing footing and it's going to be 13 by 26 see that's what we're getting here these explanations are pretty good. So now I'm going to go and take this. And then in the properties tab, we got the 36 by 12. And then we just select the walls here. There's that one. Get that one. So there you have it. That's our foundation. And look at this in our 3D view. So there you go. I'm going to window tile this. Like to see everything going on. So there's our levels. And this is our entry level. This is above. And then this is the one we've been working in. So if I have all of my... No, I need to go ahead and finish adding my... Um, let me just tab these views. By the way, please subscribe. Helps you make videos like this. Uh, I want that one out front, yeah. So I'm gonna go here and finish putting in my isolated. Uh, let me see. You can do this in 3D. It's probably better to do it in 2D, so you can just make sure you get everything. The only problem with that is, uh, yeah, this. See, let me go back to that floor level, that plan view. It's not the one. This one, foundation level here. Yep, see, we forgot one there. So we'll go do my isolated wall and there. Okay, now the next thing we want to do here. Oh, got another one there. There's another one. Do we have them all? If I don't, too bad. Okay, so now we've got all of our, we got a foundation in here now. So let's go up to the entry level here. And these are our column tops. So what I'm gonna do here, um, I'm gonna add beams, but I'm gonna bring these guys up a little higher. Actually, 
Yeah, let's do this. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go into this 3D model again. And I'm going to grab this one of these columns. Grab that column. I'm going to do a right click. I'm going to select all instances in view. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to push these up. So yes, I'm on the top level is entry. So let's make the top level second floor. Okay. So now I'm going to go into my level two, my second floor level. And now we want to start placing our beams. So I'm going to go to my beam tool. And that's still, uh, let's see, maybe we need to load one here. I've got a concrete and I need a 24 by 12. There we go, we got one here. So yeah, I'll take this guy and then I'm going to do this in 3D view. Well, let's, let's just, so in 3D, we need to have 3D snapping on. And we just go from center to center. Now, that's one way to do this, but I prefer doing it this way. So let me go back into our second level. There it is right there on second floor. Uh-oh. There it is. Now, I'm going to undo this because... The beauty of this is I want to tag on placement, so I'll see if I get a tag in here. Yeah. I don't know why I didn't do it in the 3D view, but that's okay. Okay, that's not there. So, got to kind of figure out this bream arrangement here, but let's try to knock this out. I don't like making long videos, as you guys know. Uh, get a beam there. Same size. We hit the hit the center points, those points. There's another one. I should have chain select on, do I? Place some chain, yes. Yeah, so I can just go right through here. So I have chain selected on. And that square is open. Let me see, you got a beam going through there. Something's kind of, oh, that's wrong. I think I made that wrong. But I'm going to go and lay these out anyway for you. So we got something going from here, say to here, and then there. It's probably not laid out properly, so I might fix that later in a later exercise. We'll go here, and then I want to take this beam out here. That's just gonna be a wall there. Okay, so here we're gonna go this way with our beam. And there. And we're gonna come around this way. We're gonna do, that's gonna be a wall there, but these are just our beams for now. The one there, there. Had it's in shaded view as well. Fine and shaded view. There we go. That's a little better. And go there and there. So now we have our, our layout here, our beams. Let's go have a look in 3D view. So there's our, our beams for this project. Let's see it here. Now, what I'm going to do here now, I'm going to start doing a slab here. So I'm going to go up to the second level. Actually, I can do one on the bottom as well. Let's go to the bottom level entry. Now, I'm going to do it on the second level, play around with this thing. So here now, we will say we want to do a slab. So we select the slab tool, and then we hit structural slab. And this is a six inch. So we can use the pig wall. I'm going to go, or we can pick supports here. So I'm going to go ahead and pick supports. And there, 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 there. 
just for now, I'm going to leave it right here like this. So I'm going to go and then clean this up. So that's all the slab you want there. This is going to be a six inch slab, so it should be below. Um, let's finish that. Now let's go look at this in our 3D view. Now this really probably wouldn't be here. I probably want that along the bottom, but I'm just wanting to show how that works. So let's go look at the entry level or the foundation level. And then we could do a slab in here as well. So I'm going to go uh, slab. We normally we probably we maybe it's just a different case where you would or wouldn't have a slab on this level. So I'm just gonna go pick pick walls. Come in. There's that one. That one. That that one. That one. That one. Now let's clean this up. And our span is going to go this way because that's the shortest route. That's, that's we just select span direction and hit that one. And I want to finish this. So there's our slab. So we've got our beams, our pad footings. So there you go, guys. So this is our structural foundation with beams and columns. So there's our columns and our beams. All it's just all concrete. So hey guys, thank you for watching my video. I'm going to hide this for now. Please subscribe. Hi, Elman. Yeah, there we go. So there you go. That's a foundation uh, with beams. And these walls actually can go up or down as well, or depending on the engineering involved. Actually, these beams looks kind of small. Let me see what size is that. 12 by 24. Doesn't look like it. Hmm, interesting. Oh, I see what happened. The floor did. So the floor actually cut it's cut cut a space in there. So that's good. So hey guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. It makes me helps me make videos like this all the time. Everybody be safe and have a great one. Bye.